washing, cleaning and cleaning. Young lady, you're taking too long. Two more minutes, Ntazima Stima. Two minutes, sour, mom. Sour, sour, sour. G Express the sour, sour. Enjoy the new sour red with the brilliant fragrance of strawberry. Sour leaves you feeling fresh for longer. G Express the sour, sour. Wana motiso? Piki piki yako njio hii? Ukosho ni yao? Hii piki piki ni yao? Unakumbuko uniekelete lowest unique bid yako ilikuwa ngapi? 18 shillings. 18 shillings? Na unajua kuendesha hii gari? Kidogo. Jaya. Kitoko yako shika element? Kifungu yako? Kiyomoka na mali yako? Kujiunga na quick bid ni raisi. Enda kwenye M-Pesa, kwenyeza pay bill, kisha weka business number 4032353. Kwenye account, weka kodi ya bidha unayotaka. Na bid yako ya chini zaidi. Kwa mfano, TV16. Kisha, weka shilingi 22 kama iradi yako. Weka bid yako pia kwenye www.quickbid.co.ke. Kumbuka, bid ya chini zaidi ya kipeke, niyo ununua. Quick bid, bidha abora kwa bidha ya chini. Unajua unaweza ukachukua bima ya mazishi? Chukua bima ya mazishi ili usiwe na mfadhaiko unapopatwa na msiba. Sera hii uhakikisha gharama zote za mazishi zinazingatiwa. Sasa umejua IRA bima bora kwa taifa. Welcome to the future of railway cargo transport presented to you by Kenya Railways. We understand that the greatest challenge in long-distance cross-border traffic is the reliable and timely movement of freight and so the Madaraka Express brings you the best modern rail service available in the East African region today. Madaraka Express Freight Service is designed with the client's preference in mind, affording them peace of mind whenever their goods are on the move until the time of delivery. Kenya Railways, right on track. Dear customer, accessing and receiving Kenya Power tokens has never been this easy. Simply dial star 977 hash on your mobile phone and select menu 1 to choose prepaid services. You will then select the service you need. The prepaid menu also allows you to buy tokens to retrieve your last three token numbers in case you forgot or lost your tokens and also receive your token details. The menu ensures your meter number is registered and saved for future references. Kenya Power, powering people for better lives. Malaria ni ugonjwa hatari sana unaoua watu wengi hapa Kenya. Japo kuko na corona, hatari ya malaria bado iko. Mtoto huyu alikuwa na joto jingi, kutetemeka, kuumwa na viungo na uchovu. Alikimbizwa hospitali ya umma ambako sheria za COVID-19 uzingatiwa na ni salama kwa shughuli ya upimaji. Vipimo vilionyesha kuwa ana malaria na papo hapo daktari akampa dawa za malaria na kumshauri azimalize na ili kujikinga wawe wakilala ndani ya neti iliyotibiwa. Malaria husambazwa na mbu. Walio hatarini ni watoto wa chini ya miaka tano na akina mama wajawazito. Kupimwa na kutibiwa ni bure katika hospitali zote za umma. Usisahau adui malaria. Zero malaria huanza na mimi. Chukua jukumu leo. Komesha malaria. Ujumbe huu umelishwa kwenu na Wizara ya Afya. Virusi vya corona huenea unapokaribiana na mtu aliyeambukizwa kupitia matone haswa wakati anapokohoa <coughs> au kupiga chafya <coughs> na pia kwa kugusa sehemu au vifaa vilivyo na virusi hivi ukihisi dalili kama vile kupandwa na joto kikohozi maumivu mwilini na ugumu wa kupumua na unashuku ulikaribiana na mwadhiriwa jitenge kisha piga nambari 719 ili upate usaidizi mtu yeyote anaishi na maradhi sugu kama vile virusi vya HIV kifua kikuu saratani na mingineo anashauriwa kutumia dawa zake jinsi alivyoshauriwa na daktari bila kukosa komesha corona ujumbe huu umeletwa kwako na serikali ya Kenya There was a time when the roar would be heard over the mountains and across the counties of Kenya when the earth would shake with the sounds of engines revving and we would wait on the sidelines for our champions to arrive because it was time for the legendary WRC Safari Rally. The Safari Rally is finally back and KCB is proud to be part of that journey. It's time to feel the roar again. KCB Bank financial partner of the 2021 WRC Safari Rally Kenya 
ni jukumu letu kuu kuwalinda watoto dhidi ya maradhi yanayotishia maisha yao kama vile ukambi, rubela na pepopunda. Utafiti uliofanywa na Wizara ya Afya kwa ushirikiano na Shirika la Afya Duniani WHO umeonyesha kuwa kaunti mbili zinakabiliwa na hatari ya mchamko wa ukambi na rubela. Kwa sababu hiyo kutakuwa na zoezi la utoaji chanjo dhidi ya maradhi hayo kuanzia tarehe 26 mwezi huu wa Juni hadi tarehe 5 mwezi Julai katika vituo vya afya katika kaunti husika. Ukiwa na mtoto wa umri wa miezi tisa hadi miaka mitano usikose kumpeleka kwa ajili ya kupata chanjo. Ujumbe huu umeletwa kwako na Wizara ya Afya pamoja na UNICEF. Kumbuka chanjo ina kinga. Furahia sura mpya ya Darubini ya Channel 1 tukikupakulia taarifa zenye umaridadi na viungo vya kipekee. Kutoka Busia hadi Lamu sauti zote zinasikika. Kutoka Marsabit hadi Namanga taarifa zote twazithamini na utakuwa unazipata kwa mapana na marefu. Na sisi jukumu letu hapa ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunakusanyia na kujulisha yote yale yaliyo na muhimu na yatakayokuwa na natija kwako. Kwa ustaha na ufasaha tunakupakulia taarifa za michezo kwa ni si mchezo kukosa michezo. Hapa ni nyumbani. barabara kabisa mtazamaji na tumai mzima mahali popote ulipo jioni hii ya tarehe 23 mwezi Juni mwaka 2021 ni siku ya tatu tangu KBC Channel 1 kuzindua sura mpya na hivi leo jioni hii saa moja hii nataka kumtambulisha kwako aliyekuwa hapa miaka sita iliyopita na kama walivyosema wahenga titi la mama litaa moja hapo la umbwa na mwenda tezi na omo marejeo ni ngamani Naam bila shaka Beatrice Gatonya shukran sana kwa kunitambulisha tena nyumbani na vile vile mtazamaji na toa shukrani za dhati kwako wewe kwa kuchagua runinga ya KBC Channel 1 hususan taarifa hizi za darubini ya Channel 1 kuwa kituo chako siku hii ya leo mimi naitwa Ahmed Jumabalo na karibu na kama ulivyosema mwenda tezi na omo marejeo ni ngamani <laughs> KBC ni ngamani na huyo mwenda ndio no, huyu <laughs> Karibu balo tunakukaribisha no, kwa moyo mkunjufu bila shaka mimi ni mwenye furaha tele mtazamaji kwani pamoja na balo tutakuwa tukikuletea taarifa za darubini ya channel 1 kila siku ya Jumatano saa moja kamili na siku ya Alhamisi hatuko peke yetu hapa studio ni no, bila shaka mtazamaji pande wa pili wa studio tuko naye mwana michezo wetu uh, Kip Nusu tayari uko ndani ya studio uh, Kip karibu sana na ni mimi wa kukaribisha uh, mwenda manake wewe ndio unastahili kukaribishwa hapa na karibu sana kwenye KBC Channel 1 kama alivyosema Beatles Gatonya titi la mama kwa kweli ni tamu hapa KBC ni mama basi mtazamaji kwenye habari za sporti tumekuandalia mengi ikiwemo mbio za magari ambapo kilele cha maandalizi ya mbio hizo zinatamatika barabara kuu za Thika Haile Selassie na vile vile barabara ya Uhuru imefungwa au itafungwa kuanzia hapo kesho kwa maandalizi ya mbio hizo nitakuwa na kujuza mengi kuhusiana na taarifa hizo za sporti hata hivyo narejesha kwa mabingwa hawa wawili Ahmed Jumabalo pamoja na Beatriz Gatonya Naam shukran sana Kip Nusu mtazamaji bila shaka hapo baada ya tutuletea uh, taarifa za sporti kumbuka tumekuandalia mengi mm, bila shaka mtazamaji ni mengi tuliyokuandalia siku ya leo lakini kwanza kabisa hebu tukupe vidokezo kisha tuingie kwenye taarifa zenyewe kwa kina Wizara ya fedha tu shilingi bilioni 43.5 kwa serikali za kaunti. 
there are more counties that are reporting outbreaks and the two million children that we talked about are actually at risk of, uh, of getting measles rubella disease. So in 2021, if we don't do anything, we are actually sitting on a disaster. Wizara ya Afya ya onya kuhusu wezekano wa chamuko la magonjwa ya ukambi na rubella kufuatia ungezeko la idadi ya watoto wanaokabiliwa na hatari ya kuambukizwa magonjwa hayo. Barabara kuu za Thika, Uhuru Highway na Hele Salasi kufungwa kwa muda hapo kesho huku raundi ya sita mashindano ambayo za magari ya safari rally ikingwananga. Karibu mtazamaji kwa taarifa hizo na nyinginezo hapa kwenye meza hii ya Darubini ya Channel 1. Fuatilia taarifa hizi pia kupitia mtandao wa Twitter at uh, KBC Channel 1 at uh, Betty Gatonya na vile vile at Ahmed Jumabalo mtazamaji unaweza uh, ukasema nasi uh, katika mtandao wa Twitter vile vile Facebook na vile vile Instagram tutafute tutumie maoni yako kuhusiana na sura mpya kuhusiana na taarifa zetu alafu muda ukiruhusu hapo baadaye bila shaka tutapitia baadhi ya maoni yenu bila shaka mtazamaji karibu mimi naitwa Beatrice Gatonya ngetich mtangazaji wa ishara jioni ni Leoni Ann Wangeshi Mimi ni Ahmed Jumabalo, wizara ya fedha imetoa shilingi bilioni 43.5 kwa serikali za county. Waziri wa fedha Ukuri ya Tani kwenye taarifa alitoa kwa serikali za county kupatia umuhimu ulipaji madeni yaliyopo. Aidha baraza la magavana alikiongozwa na mwenyekiti wake Martin Wambora ilipongeza hatua hiyo ikisema uh, itasaidia county kulipa madeni na mishahara. Pesa hizo zitatumiwa kulipa bili za kuanzia mwezi Aprili tazama. Baraza la magavana limefuti lia mbali vitisho vya kusimamisha huduma katika county baada ya wizara ya fedha kutoa shilingi bilioni 43.5 zaidi kwa county kwenye taarifa baraza hilo limesema fedha hizo ni mgao wa mwezi wa pili mwenyekiti wa baraza la magavana Martin Wambora alisema hatua hiyo itawezesha county kutoa huduma na kulipa madeni yaliyopo we are happy we have funds to at least buy essential things like medicine and also pay salaries but uh, we, the money owed we are still going to for it up uh, use diplomacy this time around so that uh, if we get it then it will fulfill what he said during the budget in the parliament Lilihimiza wizara ya fedha itoe fedha zinazosalia ili kuwezesha county kuhudumu ipasavyo Yatani alisema pesa zinazosalia za miezi ya Mei na Juni zitatolewa haraka iwezekanavyo kabla ya kipindi kijacho cha kifedha Awali gavana wa Machakos daktari Alfred Mutua akiongea huko Mombasa alidai kwamba serikali ya taifa inanuia kuangamiza mfumo wa ugatuzi kwa kunyima county fedha unaponyima wananchi huduma ya county kwa kupunguza pesa inamaanisha ya kwamba unataka wananchi waendelee kuwa maskini kwa ndio kisiasa uendelee kuwatawala kwa sababu mwenye njaa anatawaliwa na yule ambaye ameshiba katika mwaka wa kifedha wa mwaka 2021 2022 wizara ya fedha imetengea county shilingi bilioni 53 Khalid Abdullahi Darubini na mtazamaji tukiachana na hayo kaunti ya Vihiga imesitisha huduma zake na kwa shauri wafanyikazi wafanyie kazi nyumbani hadi itakapotangazwa vinginevyo ni wale wanaotoa huduma maalum pekee watasalia afisini gavana dr wilda otichilo amesema hatua hiyo inatokana na ongezeko la visa vya corona katika kipindi cha mwezi mmoja uliopita. Aya anajiri huku watu wapatao tatu wakikamatwa kwa kukiuka kanuni za kuzuia kuenea kwa ugonjwa wa COVID-19 wakati wa maagizo yanayotekelezwa katika kaunti 13 zilizoorodheshwa kuwa na maambukizi mengi ya virusi hivyo. Ruth Wamboi anatuarifu zaidi. Tika hatua inayonuia kuzuia kuenea kwa ugonjwa wa COVID-19 katika kaunti ya Vihiga. Gavana Wilbao Tichilo amesitisha huduma za kaunti hiyo kwa wafanyikazi wa sekta zisizokuwa muhimu. Last one month we have recorded increasing infections and death in our county. Gavana huyo amewataka wakazi wazingatie kikamilifu kanuni zilizotangazwa na Wizara ya Afya za kuzuia kuenea kwa ugonjwa huo. It is not going to be long before we run out of the beds and the capacity to care, to take care of the beds of, of the patients. 
Haya yamejiri huku Gavana Otichilo akiwafuta kazi wasimamizi wanne wa idara za kaunti hiyo kwa utovu wa nidhamu. Kwingineko takriban watu 300 wamekamatwa kufikia sasa kwa kukiuka kanuni za kuzuia virusi vya corona wakati wa utekelezaji maagizo yaliyotangazwa katika kaunti 13. It is your personal thing and these other vaccines will work well because you are you have discipline. Haya yanajiri huku wa hudumu wa matatu yanayohudumu katika barabara za Nyamira na Narok wakimsihi rais abadilishe saa za kafyu. Kisa abiria pale kitu kama saa mbili na nusu ndia ajiweze kufika kwake Hii ya saa moja haki imeshinda kapsa Imetushinda tungeomba raisi wetu huru mwigai kenyata Mutusaidie kwa hii kafyu Wacha irudi fike saa tatu Heli ndio abiria wafike vizuri Wakati huo huo baraza la magavana limesifu Watu wazilizo chukuliwa na eneo la kiuchumi la ziwa Victoria Iliku thibiti ongeze kola visa vya ugonjo wa COVID-19 Hukuli kitu wa wito kwa izi zare ya fedha igawe kwa usawa dozi ya pili ya chanjo ya ugonjwa wa covid 19 the government for imposing strict covid 19 control measures and discouraging movement into and out of the 13 counties in the rick region nikiripotia kbc darubini mieni roth wamboi Tukisonga mbele mtazamaji wizara ya afya imeonya dhidi ya uwezekano wa chamko la magonjwa ya ukambi na rubella kufuatia ongezeko la watoto walio na dalili za ugonjwa huo. Kulingana na takwimu kutoka kwa wizara ya afya idadi ya watoto walio katika hatari ya kuambukizwa imeongezeka hadi milioni moja nukta mbili kutoka alfu uh, ama laki sita na alfu rubeni na nane mwaka alfu mbili na kumina saba na huku hofu ikitanda serikali imepanga kampeni ya siku kumi nchini kote na utowaji ya utowaji wa tanjo dhidi ya magonja ukambi na rubela kwa watoto walio wakati ya miezi tisa hadi miaka mitano katika county shin na mbili zilizo tambuliwa kuwa zinakabiliwa na hatari ya maambukizi kampeni hiyo itaendelea kuanzia tarehe shiri na sita mwezi huu wa juni hadi tarehe tano mwezi ujao uh, mwaka huu Kumani. Ukambi ambao ndio ugonjwa wa tatu kwa kusababisha vifo miongoni mwa watoto kutokana na maradhi yanayoweza kuzuiwa kupitia chanjo unakisiwa kuzuka nchini na hivyo kusababisha hali ya wasiwasi miongoni mwa hudumu wa afya We have seen an accumulation of children that are susceptible like the digicide to measles and rubella Increasing over the last three years from 648,000 to now 2.1 million children being susceptible. Kwa idadi ya wanaokumbwa na hatari ya kuambukizwa ikiongezeka kutoka watoto la kisita alfa rubaini na nane mwako elfu mbili kumina saba hadi milioni mbili nukta moja mwako elfu mbili shirini wizara ya afya sase meonyakuwa pana wezekano wa mkurupuko wa ukambi. So basically means that more children uh, there are more counties that are reporting outbreaks and the two million children that we talked about are actually at risk of, uh, of getting measles rubella disease. So in 2021, if we don't do anything, we are actually sitting on a disaster. Since 2019, we have reported over 706 cases with two deaths in the six counties, namely Mandera, Garissa, Wajia, West Pokot, Kirifi and Tana River. Kutokana hali hiyo, serikali kwanza tarehe 26 mwezi huu itaanza kampeni ya siku kumi utuaji chanjo dhidi ya ugonjwa ukambi kwa watoto walio kati ya miezi tisa na miaka mitano. I want to assure the public that the vaccine that will be used in this campaign is the same vaccine that we use in the routine immunization program. It is safe. I appeal to my fellow leaders to mobilize resources to support immunization services at all levels and to encourage their communities to go for vaccination. County Shirina Mbili zina lengwa kwenye shuhuli hiyo. Kamche Menza, Darubini. Ya mtazamaji hiyo ni ya wamu ya kwanza ya Darubini ya Channel 1. Bila shaka tunaendelea kukuleta tarifa hizi. Lakini ni wakati wa kuelekea mapumzikoni lakini kabla ya kufanya hivyo balo. Mm. Naona wengi wana kukaribisha nyumbani. <laughs> akiwemo Anthony Kiyoko anasema karibu sana jumabalo. Uh, Geoffrey Mutua anasema natazama akiwa maeneo ya mutoni uh, mutomo. Na, naona pia kwenye mtandao wa Instagram pale kwa nimeweweka picha mimi na wewe kabla ya tarifa hizi. Na mm. mwona uh, Anthony Anton, 
Odupoi, Nadia Said, Dorin Mwesh, Arafat, Reclassified, Ben Paul na Njoki. Mm -hmm. Weoto nanambia, uh, we've missed you, welcome back home, congrats my brother, uh, we are behind you. Nasema, shukran sana kwa wale wote ambao natuma jumbe hizo za kunikaribisha tena nyumbani uh, KBC. Kumbuka, tuko hapa kwa jili ya kwe mtazamaji. Bila shaka mtazamaji, usine mbali. Kwa sasa tuelekea kwenye mapumziko, tukirejea ni tarifa zaidi kutoka sehemu nyinginezo za humu nchini na hata kima taifa. unaweza kulipia bima yako ukiwa nyumbani kwa kutumia mobile money na mitandao ya kijamii epuka kutumia pesa taslimu kuzuia kuenea maradhi ya COVID-19 kaa nyumbani kaa salama okoa maisha sasa umejua IRA bima bora kwa taifa kupata skiza tune hii ya upendo dial star 811 star 965 hash Unapo mhukumu mtu hauna muda wa kumpenda kwani maneno ya kuhukumu hujenga ukuta wa chuki lakini maneno ya upendo hufungua hata mioyo iliyofungika ili kupata skiza tune hiyo ya upendo dial star 811 star 965 hash star 811 star 965 hash Malaria ni ugonjwa hatari sana unaoua watu wengi hapa Kenya. Japo kuko na corona, hatari ya malaria bado iko. Mtoto huyu alikuwa na joto jingi, kutetemeka, kuumwa na viungo na uchovu. Alikimbizwa hospitali ya umma ambako sheria za COVID-19 uzingatiwa na ni salama kwa shughuli ya upimaji. Vipimo vilionyesha kuwa ana malaria na papo hapo daktari akampa dawa za malaria na kumshauri azimalize na ili kujikinga wawe wakilala ndani ya neti iliyotibiwa. Malaria husambazwa na mbu. Walio hatarini ni watoto wa chini ya miaka tano na akina mama wajawazito. Kupimwa na kutibiwa ni bure katika hospitali zote za umma. Usisahau adui malaria. Zero malaria huanza na mimi. Chukua jukumu leo. Komesha malaria. Ujumbe huu umelitoa kwenu na Wizara ya Afya. Furahia sura mpya ya Darubini ya Channel 1. Tukikupakulia taarifa zenye umaridadi na viungo vya kipekee kutoka Busia hadi Lamu sauti zote zinasikika kutoka Marsabit hadi Namanga taarifa zote twazithamini na utakuwa unazipata kwa mapana na marefu na sisi jukumu letu hapa ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunakusanyia na kujulisha yote yale yaliyo na muhimu na yatakayokuwa na natija kwako kwa ustaha na ufasaha tunakupakulia taarifa za michezo kwa ni si mchezo kukosa michezo hapa ni nyumbani Shukran sana mtazamaji kwa kuendelea kutazama taarifa hizi na karibu tena Halmashauri ya kurejesha mali imefanikiwa katika ombi lake la kuitaka mahakama isimamishe mali ya naibu mkurugenzi wa halmashauri ya usimamizi wa barabara za mashambani Kera aliyenunua nyumba 35 za zaidi ya shilingi milioni 300 pesa taslimu katika kipindi cha miezi minne. Halmashauri hiyo imedai kwamba mshahara wa Margaret Wanja Mudhui hauwezi kununua mali hiyo ya mamilioni ya pesa katika kipindi cha majuma na inaamini mali hiyo inatokana na shughuli haramu. Vikiwemo vinwa mgongo kutoka kwa wanakandarasi wa barabara tazama Halmashauri ya kurejesha mali imefungia mali ya mmoja wa naibu mkurugenzi wa Halmashauri ya Usimamizi wa Barabara za Mashinani Kera Margaret Wanja Mudoi ya dhamani ya shilingi milioni 374.5 Jaji James Wakiaga pia aliruhusu kusimamishwa kwa shilingi milioni 94 pesa taslimu zilizokuwa katika akaunti kadhaa za mshukiwa akisubiri kuamuliwa kwa kesi hiyo. Halmashauri ya ARA inadai kwamba haiwezekani kwa mkurugenzi huyo kupata utajiri mkubwa kiasi hicho katika kipindi cha majuma. Naibu huyo wa mkurugenzi aliye na umri wa miaka 34 Alinunua nyumba 35 papo hapo katika miezi minne kabla ya Septemba mwaka 2019 wakati serikali ilipokuwa ikiondoa noti za zamani za shilingi elfu moja ili kukabiliana na shughuli haramu za kifedha. Bentro Njue Darubini. 
Geneko mtazamaji waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoha amekariri kwamba serikali itatekeleza mtaala wa umilisi wa gredi ya tano nchini. Profesa Magoha alisema kuwa pesa za kutosha zimetengwa kwenye bajeti ya mwaka huu ili kuimarisha muundo msingi wa shule zilizoteuliwa kuwa na madarasa ya chini ya shule za sekondari. Alisema kuwa wizara hiyo hivi karibuni itatangaza shule za msingi zilizoteuliwa kwa ujenzi wa vitengo vya madarasa ya chini ya shule za sekondari tayari kwa utekelezaji wa mtaala huo. Aliwahakikishia wazazi kwamba vitabu vya kida vya kiada samahani vya gredi ya tano tayari vimechapishwa na kuwasilishwa kwenye shule mbalimbali. PS who is in charge of the, the rollout uh, Professor Fatou Machege spent about two weeks in Machakos cranking the numbers and is about to give us the exact number of primary schools that we have to beef up to to become junior secondary schools and once we have this number the desks that we have been graciously given by government shall be taken to those selected primary schools so that the only thing that we shall add is one extra classroom Mtazamaji kabla ya mwenzangu Timothy Kipnusu kukudunda dundisha kule viwanjani hebu tuangazie hizi za biashara. Wakenya walituma kiwango cha chini ama kidogo cha pesa kwa wapendwa wao katika miezi mitatu ya kwanza ya mwaka huu baada ya kurejeshwa kwa ada za kutuma na kupokea hadi shilingi elfu moja kwa njia ya simu. Takwimu za hivi punde za halmashauri ya mawasiliano nchini zinaonyesha kwamba kiwango cha kutuma na kupokea pesa kwa njia ya simu miongoni mwa watu kilipungua kwa asilimia tano tatisa hadi shilingi bilioni 971 katika kipindi cha miezi mitatu ya kwanza ya mwaka huu. Kwa habari hizi na nyingine zo mtazamaji tujumuike na ripota wetu aliyetondalia mkusanyiko wa taarifa za biashara. Kurejeshwa kwa ada za kutuma na kutoa pesa kwa njia ya simu za mkononi kuanzia mwezi Januari mwaka huu kuliathiri kiwango na thamani ya pesa zinazotumwa na kupokelewa kwa njia ya simu kiwango cha kutuma na kupokea pesa miongoni mwa watu kilipungua kwa asilimia tisa nukta sita katika robo ya kwanza ya mwaka huu hadi shilingi milioni mia saba themanini na nane huku thamani ya pesa zilizotumwa na kupokelewa baina ya watu kikipungua kwa asilimia tano nukta tisa hadi shilingi milioni mia tisa sabini na moja kadhalika halmashauri hiyo inasema kuwa kupungua kwa kiwango hicho kilitokana na kumalizika kwa msimu wa siku kuu ambapo wa Kenya hutuma pesa kwa upendo wao pamoja na ongezeko la mahitaji ya kinyumbani ya kiwe mahitaji ya kurejea shuleni wakati huo serikali ya kaunti ya Kitui imewasilisha makadirio ya bajeti ya shilingi bilioni 12.4 kwa kipindi cha matumizi ya pesa za serikali cha mwaka 2021 2022 Shilingi bilioni nane kati ya pesa hizo zitatumiwa kwa matumizi ya mara kwa mara huko shilingi bilioni nne nukta moja zikitengewa shughuli za kimaendeleo kama vile mageuzi ya ndegu yaliyotengewa shilingi milioni 25 na viwanda nguo vya kitui na mutomo vimetengewa shilingi milioni 15 kila kimoja sisi kama mbunge tunafikiria kwamba labda ni BQ ambazo zinaongezewa hela sana mpaka wakati mwingine kwa hivyo mimi nimetoa pendekezo la kwamba tutafute consultant ambayo ni area ya mbunge uh, wale wakitengeneza BQ zao azizi tukita huyu wa pande hii pia yeye hawa anaangalia ndio ile pesa ya mwananchi awaze kupata thamani na hatimaye kaunti ya Narok imewasilisha makadirio ya bajeti ya shilingi bilioni 12.2 kwa kipindi kijacho cha matumizi ya pesa za serikali sekta ya afya imetengewa asilimia moja ya bajeti huku shilingi bilioni 800 zikitengewa juhudi za kukabiliana na janga la covid-19 shilingi milioni 217 zitatumiwa kununua dawa kwenye vituo vya afya Haya, kipnusi yuko pande ule mwingine mambo ya safari rally ni vipi? Na bila shaka. Wana shabikia wa Kenya, Uingereza. Wa Kenya. Hey. <laughs> Kwe, kwenye michezo mingine labda sporti na nini na nini eh, I mean football mm -hmm. ama anamaanisha mpira uh, kandanda. Mm -hmm. Mimi shabikia timu za Uingereza lakini 
Safarali of course sisi ni wa Kenya bana <laughs> <laughs> na mtazamaji ni wakati wa kupata pumzi kwa fupi bila shaka huku tukimuuliza kipnusu no. kuna wa Kenya wangapi wanashiriki kwenye mbio hizi za magari tutarajie nini hapo kesho Um, Nifunge safari nende Naivasha au vipi? <laughs> Naam, no, manake kuna mbwembo ya aina yake kule katika eneo la Naivasha. Kama ulivyouliza ni wachezaji 31 ambao watashiriki kutoka hapa nchini na watakao shiriki wote ni hamsini na wanane na kwa hivyo ni taarifa ambayo nitakuwa nakufahamisha kwa muda usio kwa mrefu mtazamaji. Asante Kipnusu na sasa tuelekee kwenye, kwenye mapumziko au vipi? Naam, mtazamaji usiende mbali, tutarejea na taarifa za sporti. If you have been in contact with someone who is suspected or has tested positive for COVID-19, self-quarantine for 14 days and call 719 for help. Self-quarantine restricts movements and the spread of the disease and protects your family, friends and community from being infected. During self-quarantine, you are advised to stay in a separate room, disinfect surfaces and clothing with appropriate disinfectant, avoid sharing household items including utensils, towels and bedding, do not receive visitors, wear an appropriate face mask if you must be around other people. COVID-19 is preventable. Protect yourself, family and the community. This message has been brought to you by the government of Kenya and its partners. Mimi mimi kutoka kwako. Ha? Labda ufe tuheshimiane. Tena tuheshimiane sana. Wewe tunavokuangalia Ukipata nafasi ya kuingia hapa kwenye hii nyumba kuishi basi ndio hutoki tena. Na tuliona nini? Chafua, chafua mama, usikubali akakaa hapa, usikubali kabisa. Bwana hey! Motiso, eh? pikipiki yako ndio hii? Ukosho ni yangu. Hii pikipiki ni unakumbuka uliyekelea the lowest unique bid yako ilikuwa ngapi? 18 shillings. 18 shillings. Na unajua kuendesha hii gari? Kidogo. Haya, kitoko yako shika element, kifungu yako chomoka na mali yako. Kujiunga na Quick Bid ni rahisi. Enda kwenye Mpesa, bonyeza Paybill kisha weka business number 4032353. Kwenye account weka kodi ya bidhaa unayotaka na bidi yako ya chini zaidi. Kwa mfano TV16. Kisha weka shilingi 20 tu kama idadi yako. Weka bidi yako pia kwenye www.quickbid.co.ke. Kumbuka, bidi ya chini zaidi ya kipekee ndio ununua. Quick Bid, bidhaa bora kwa bei ya chini. na mtazamaji sasa nizamu ya kuvalia sare rasmi za sporti inaitwa Timothy Kipnusu nangonanga na taarifa kwamba barabara kuu za Thika Uhuru Highway na Haile Selance zitafungwa kwa muda kuanzia hapo kesho huku raundi ya sita ya mashindano ya mbio za magari ya safari rally kingonanga kituo cha mwanzo kwa madereva watakao shiriki kikakuwa ugani kasrani ambacho ni kilomita 4.8 mashindano hayo yatapeperushwa moja kwa moja kwenye runinga ya KBC Channel 1 na Radio Taifa muda unayoyoma huku saa chache zikisalia kabla kungwananga kwa raundi ya sita mashindano ya mbio za magari ya safari rally <laughs> madereva hamsini na wanane watakinzana akiwamo ubingwa mtetezi duniani Sebastian Oja atakayenuia kuonesha weledi wake MOH has not suspended its protocols the protocols are in place whether its protocols with respect to the wearing of masks social distancing right or protocols that relate to the curfew right? so all that is still in place nothing has been suspended the rally takes place during the day it does not take place at night so we don't expect to have multitudes of people uh, you know congregating in spaces in Naivasha at night so that's what i want to say now just welcome everybody to come and watch it enjoy it 
and keep us abreast. Tell us how you feel about it. To ensure that there is total safety for everyone watching the rally. In that respect, I want to announce that the Inspector General of Police has put in place measures to make sure there is security and safety of everyone along the entire route from Nairobi via Kiambu to Nakuru County. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta anatarajiwa kuwasilisha bendera rasmi kwa washiriki kesho huku barabara kuu za Thika, Uhuru Highway na Haile Selassie zikifungwa kwa muda. And it's better that they avoid Uhuru Highway, they avoid Thika Road, the main route for this event. And indeed, we actually wish each and everybody a safe a safe day as we shall all be there to watch over this event madereva watashindana kwenye vituo 18 tofauti zitakazojumuisha kilomita 320.19 ndipo madereva 58 watapokezwa bendera kabla kungwa nanga kwa raundi ya sita mashindano ya mbio za magari ya safari rally duniani ambapo Kenya itawakilishwa na madereva 31 ambao watakuwa wananuia kushamiri ndipo sa kuibuka washindi Kenya inajivunia madereva waliopewa viwango vya juu na wenye uzoefu akiwamo on karai kwenye gari aina ya Volkswagen Polo GTI R5 akifuatwa na Carl Flash Tundo. See our marshals are already positioned they already they have already taken their positions. So on the spot inside we are ready. Good rally driver, the stamina, the love of the sport and you must have the give when you're in the car when you navigate you are navigating and not thinking of anything else hiki ni kituo cha kipekee ambapo madereva watakinzana katika kilomita 4.8 kuanzia kesho mida saa nane na dakika nane. usikose uondo kamili katika runinga ya KBC Channel 1 pamoja na Radio Taifa nikiripotia darubini ya Channel 1 kutoka Uga wa Kasarani jijini Nairobi mimi ni Frederick Mwoki Kuntu Frederick Mwoki mtazamaji bila shaka mbio hizo za magari tutakuwa nazipeperusha Kenya Kenya kutoka hapa kwenye KBC Channel 1 Radio Taifa Mbech. kwa hivyo usikose yeah, uhondo yeah. kupitia uh, sura mpya ya KBC Channel 1 na vile vile mtazamaji usikose kutizama dimba la Euro ambapo imepamba moto uh, bila shaka kuna michi babu kubwa kati ya Ureno uh, na bila, bila shaka Ureno itakuwa inachuana na Ufaransa na vile vile kuna michi vile vile uh, kutoka huko uh, Uingereza ambapo bila shaka tutakuwa tunasubiria kuona na uh, mechi ambayo ilikuwa hapo jana uh, kati ya Uingereza uh, na vile vile Jamhuri ya uh, Jamhuri ya Czech ambapo bila shaka uh, Uingereza ilitoka kwa bao moja kwa nunge na sasa naarifiwa muda umesha uh, kamilika na rejesha kwa magwiji wetu wa siku hii ya leo vitu zigatonye pamoja na uh, Juma Balo naitwa Timothy Kipnusu tukutane tena hapo kesho majaliwa sana uh, Timothy uh, bila shaka kwa taarifa hizo na vile vile mtazamaji naarifiwa kwamba bado mambo ni ma, mazuri ni mengi yani na karibishwa <laughs> anataka kunifunza lugha ishara <laughs> leo nataka kumfunza lugha ishara mtazamaji pamoja na wewe tujifunze kwa pamoja na kama tujuavyo tumekuwa tukijifunza wanyama wa porini kwa lugha ya ishara hivi hmm. leo tunajifunza mnyama kifaru rhino rhino unajua ana pembe hmm. ile bila <laughs> kangaroo kangaroo <laughs> mnyama kangaroo no shukra ya shukra shukra sana asante uh, namsikia mwelekezi wetu he <laughs> muda nao si muda umetupa kisogo lakini <laughs> uh, turusi tupitata kama ni arafa mbili kuna uh, Hussein uh, 11 Uh, Hussein Alamudi anasema it's about time uh, doing what you do best welcome back anka 00 yani kiufupi na nikaribisha nyumbani na vile vile kuna moja anaitwa Jemo Gatogo mm-hmm. anasema na tutazama uh, kutoka Thika na karibu sana Ahmed Jumabalo anasema shukran sana Asante Jumabalo umekaribishwa sana kwenye mitandao ya kijamii asante sana mtazamaji kwa kumkaribisha mwenzangu na tumai utaendelea kufurahia sura hii mpya ya KBC Channel 1 iliyozinduliwa siku tatu zilizopita na hapo kesho tutakuwa papa hapa majaliwa Asante sana kwa mda ko mimi naitwa Beatrice Gatonye ngaitichi mtangazaji wa ishara an wangeshi na bila shaka mtazamaji mimi ni Ahmed Jumabalo Maulana Kirithia inshallah tukutane tena hapo kesho asalamu alaikum usikomoe
If you have been in contact with someone who is suspected or has tested positive for COVID-19, self-quarantine for 14 days and call 719 for help. COVID-19 is preventable. Protect yourself, family and the community. This message has been brought to you by the Government of Kenya and its partners. Vera Beauty College. Vera Beauty and Fashion College with branches in Nairobi, Eldoret, Fika and Meru. Did you know that we are a TVET approved institution? We offer courses in fashion design, interior design in soft furnishing, event decoration, flower arrangement, event planning, hairdressing, barbering and dreadlocks, beauty therapy, makeup, nail technology, spa massages, teaching skills, TOT, solo business management and many more. Register now and visit our website on www.verabeautycollege.com. You can also call on 0725-923-550 Nairobi Branch, 0728-087-689 Eldoret Branch, 0722-227428 Thicker Branch, 0725 Zero 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 seven zero six Meru Branch Vera Beauty and Fashion College, a TVET approved institution. Uh, baba yangu amenyeta kulipa school fees kwa hivyo sasa na chief foundation nyumbani self taught unajua hata kama ni mimi kwa na hii ki mimi kiingida yange hata mimi kama ni mimi sina mesa tu yeye kusikia gari yake inakuswa akamesa funguo sijui kama alikuwa anataka kuji drive mpaka fiinguini si kuchua Asante sana mpenzi mtazamaji mahali popote unanitizama kwa majina yanajulikana kama Mutumishi Asante yes oh yes na hapa kwenye Quickbeat kumbuka tunakuambia ni bidhaa bora zaidi kwa bei ya chini kwa chini kwa chini.